Here at Dancing Rabbit Eco Village, we live a hardcore sustainable lifestyle. We provide a model for how a small community can address the ecological problems our world faces by cooperating and sharing resources. Besides reducing our footprint, there are many other benefits and positive side effects to living sustainably. A few years back, I did a tour of a half-finished roundhouse Hassan Hall was working on. At that time, it was called the Tea Cozy, and like a lot of buildings at Dancing Rabbit Eco Village, it's made with mostly natural materials, specifically straw bale. Now the house is finished and it's been bought by a member of the community who not only lives in it, but works in it. If you want to see the way the house looks underneath the finish work, check out those videos linked with cards in the top corner here and in the description below. The finished house is named Cat's Cradle after its new owner, Cat. Well, I love this space. Uh, I love the light that it brings in here, the natural light. It's performed very well for me. I was here last winter. And it's, it's a bit larger than I would really need as a single person. It's about 850 round feet. I don't like to say square feet being in a roundhouse. So as a massage therapist, I love having a space where I can work in my house. I think one of the most beautiful things in this room is the glass bottle wall. And often in the afternoon when the sun is setting, the, this wall will be lit up with the, uh, the sun coming through and it's really spectacular to have the colors come in through that. I love those glass bottle walls. They allow so much light to come on in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's so decorative and beautiful. Yeah, and this was one of the things that I talked about with Hassan in the last videos, and he had sort of set it up with wood to hold the bottles in place so they could do this workshop um, and, and just not have to place all the bottles as they were building the wall. So it was kind of a unique way of doing it, but it turned yeah, out Yeah, I've seen amazing. the videos. <laughs> yeah. And so this window though, like in the winter time, you can open this to the sunroom and yes. then it will sort of bring in some of that heat from, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yep. And then you've got these windows over here that are south facing for some more passive solar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm able to do massage in here with no external heat. I just have the wood stove and there's no extra heat in this oh, room okay. and it works out perfectly. Wow, that's yeah. great. That's yeah, nice. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> this is another favorite room uh, with this beautiful southern exposure that we get in winter and all of the decorative touches that have happened in here. We've got our little turtles up there at the top <laughs> We've got a gorgeous mural of a face, and we have Larry the Lounge Lizard that never quite got finished. One of these days he's going to get some marble eyes and some scales on his tail. In the winter I bring trees in here. I have a, a peach tree that lives outside in a planter, and in the winter it comes inside to live here until it's planted permanently. So that's its little spot. How warm do you think it can get here oh my gosh. In, the, in the winter time? Does it get really warm? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I'd that say really nice. close to 80, really, it, wow. on days, depending how cold it is outside. So you just come in here and sit at the table or whatever and hang out and read yeah. or whatever, yeah. 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 Wow, that sounds great. It is. It's a lovely space in the winter, very sunny and bright. It's so pretty too. It's like having your own little conservatory in yes, your house. Yes, it yeah. really is. So this is the main room. Uh, this is the kitchen and the living room space. And again, very decorative and beautiful uh, cork flooring, which is a very natural product. These internal walls are partially wattle and daub. The cord wood goes through the wall. And then I believe at the top is light straw clay. So it was designed to let the heat rise up and then flow through the house in the winter. Mm -hmm. I heat with a wood stove during the winter, and that's my main cooking source. Mm -hmm. In summer, I use the induction burner there and my toaster oven. And I bake bread almost every day, winter and summer. And I noticed this beautiful uh, live edge table you have here. What, uh, where'd you get that? Uh, Hassan had built this before he left. It was one of the big features in this oh, house. Wow, and I yeah. believe it's one piece of walnut, black walnut is my understanding. 
and this is where it started to branch up. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's a beautiful table. Yeah. One of our neighborhood cats comes in and uses this as his scratching post, which I don't know how I feel about that. It, it probably can hold, hold up to it. Is that, uh, is that Osage probably? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it can handle it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. I love to cook and the, the kitchen is very adequate for my needs. Yeah. It's a big um, kitchen, a lot of open, a lot of yeah. space, you know? Yeah. So One thing good. I did to improve the kitchen and its functionality was I had some custom slider drawers built. And that really improved um, the storage capabilities of the lower cabinets. Sure. Yeah. yeah. This light tube allows natural light to come in and illuminate the entire room so other supplemental light isn't needed at all on most days. I'm always amazed at how much light these things can kick out. Looking at this cordwood wall, I can't imagine how much time and care it must have taken to smooth out the finished coat of plaster and burnish between all those logs. All the molding for the house was made from locally harvested and milled walnut. And these bottles in the wall filled partly with broken colored glass just add another aesthetic flair to the walls while allowing light to pass through from room to room. Okay, so this is the bedroom here. Yeah, I've got my little desk area here. And the plan is to put some bookshelves in between the window trim to make a, a small bookcase there. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? The other plan for this room would be to build a solid headboard with a sliding pocket door so this could become a walk-in closet behind. Okay. It just takes time and money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's again a very comfortable room. And how do you like the fact that it's round? Like this round shape. Does that cause problems or is it no. yeah, is it fine? Yeah. I think it's fine. It's it's again it's a unique house and it's just one of those things to get used to. Yeah. I'm happy with the way everything fits in here for my personal needs and it's just yeah, lovely, beautiful. I have great breeze from this direction. Um, next summer, I do plan to put some uh, cordage on the outside in an A-frame shape and grow vines up to give me western shade sure. in the afternoon mm -hmm. sun. Yeah. So that's going to be a project for next summer. This little bathroom features a sink bowl with running water and a humanure composting toilet. The walls are made of reclaimed maple flooring. The house is sided with locally harvested lapped wood siding. And you can see on the south side the more obvious passive solar design with windows leading into the sunroom and the bedrooms. The house also has a small power system and is connected to our village-wide renewable microgrid. If you look closely, you can also see more detail. Mosaics in the earthen plaster around the windows and doors add aesthetic flair. And the drip ledge at the bottom of the siding is lime plaster with broken glass mosaic. I wanted to take a moment to thank my new patrons, Full Name and Cheese, for signing up to contribute to the production of more videos. If you want to support my channel by becoming a patron, click the link below in the description. Your contributions are making possible new and expanded production of videos on my channel. I plan to reinvest your contributions in new equipment so that I can improve the quality of my future videos. You can also contribute directly through PayPal or by becoming a client of my solar-powered bookkeeping business, Soul Power Bookkeeping. Links are in the description below. Well, thanks, Kat. Thanks for the tour. It was great to revisit the house and see what it looks like with someone living in it and find out from their perspective what, how great it is, you know? It's a really beautiful place, and I'm so fortunate to have it. It's performed great for me. Thanks, Dan. Mm -hmm. 
you're inspired and want a natural house like this one, built from the heart, check out Hassan Hall's website, cobwallbuilder.com, linked in the description below. Before you click away, if you haven't subscribed to Hardcore Sustainable, do that now and click the bell for notifications. Also, check out the Hardcore Sustainable Facebook and Instagram pages for more inspiration about living sustainably. Mm -hmm.